Okay, let's see if I can get the ML to write some ML. So let's just uh, import TensorFlow. That's TF, cool. Um, oh wait, hang on. Okay, I'll take MNIST. No, let's do this. <laughs> Data sets. Um, as, yeah, that's a good name. Oop. That's why I didn't get it right. Cool. All right. So let's then get, um, I don't want to use pyplot. That's fine. I'm basically taking this from the TensorFlow Keras example. So, um, that's a pretty good one. Do we want to do that? No, let's just do, um, train data set and test data set. And then we want the info or the metadata. Sure. Yep. And then, yeah, we want MNIST. Um, sure. With info. That's good. Uh, supervised. Yeah, great. Um, and we'll split into train and test. Excellent. I'm just going to close that out. I don't know what the text is, but that keeps turning up anyway. Uh, right. Oh, I can put in the, print the metadata. Sure. Let's do that. Um, and then I can do this, but I'm going to copy the, the example that it's got. Um, for Keras, and I'm going to normalize, define a normalize um, and it does that. Sure. Okay, great. That'll normalize the image. Um, right, let's map to, yep, let's get our training data set and our test data set. We'll do that later. We want to do some other stuff. So, um, train DS. Sure. Let's shuffle it and then let's batch. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, make that bigger just to follow the example that's there. Okay. That's the training. Um, I think the other thing that you normally do, um, uh, train DS prefetch. Cool. That I, I don't really know what that does, but, um, it's uh, got that in the example. Okay. So, um, the testing pipeline, we'll do the same thing. We just don't shuffle it. I think, um, so sure. And then we can prefetch that too. Great. Um, okay. Now we need to get the model. Yeah, we could iterate through, but no. Model equals. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Let's do some a sequential set of layers. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, I could just do that. Let's do um, the one in the example. Um, and use the optimizers atom with a learning rate of 0 0.001. Great. Um, so then, oh wait, that's the wrong thing. I need a layer. Um, we'll do a flatten layer. Yeah, cool. Flatten and then we'll do <laughs> dense layer with relu act, um, activation function. And then let's do a dense layer with softmax activation function. Cool. That'll do. Um, yep. Good stuff. We'll close it out. I'm just hitting tab a lot here and then model compile. So this probably works, but I don't, that's not what's in the example. So, um, Keras dot optimizes Adam. Cool. Um, and we want the learning rate. Um, so that was this one. Great. It's even guessing that right. Uh, we need a loss function. Yeah, sparse categorical cross entropy. Cool. Oh, that tabbing didn't quite work. There we go. <clears throat> and metrics. Yeah, same thing. That probably works, but um, I'm just going to do the one from the example. 
see if it just picks it up. Yeah, it's past categor categorical accuracy. Cool. Um, what do we do next? We fit it. We'll train with five epochs on the test data. All right. So we've got our data from the TensorFlow data sets. We're mapping it so we normalize those images. We're shuffling the training data. Oh, we're splitting it on. Oh, are we splitting it? Yeah, we're splitting it train to test. Um, we're normalizing the image and then we're shuffling it to get some randomization in there. And then we are building a um, three layers, so the flattening layer and then two dense layers um, with activation functions. And then we are compiling that model, um, defining the atom optimizer um, and then just whatever it chose for loss and metrics. And then we are doing a fit and I'm going to hit save and then go run and debug Python file. And let's just see what happens. Oh, it's doing stuff. It's doing a second epoch. Loss is bad. Accuracy. Accuracy. Boom. Ha. <laughs> um, cool. Well, that is um, AI writing AI. My goodness.